The peak before you is South Fortuna Mountain, 1,094 feet. South Fortuna, like the other mountains surrounding you, is part of the Peninsula Ranges Batholith, a massive rock that extends tens of miles wide and hundreds of miles long. From the Santa Ana Mountains near Riverside, California, to Cabo San Lucas at the southern tip of Mexico's Baja Peninsula. Scientists believe that this batholith was formed during the Crustaceous period approximately 100 million years ago when the Farallon Ocean floor plate collided with and slid underneath the North American continental plate. As melting occurred, hot magma rose and slowly cooled below the Earth's surface. There, the magma crystallized, producing the granite rock of South Fortuna. Along South Fortuna's steep sides, you may see fractures called joints that split the rocks into blocks. This joining occurred when the batholith cracked as it cooled. You might also notice the effects of river erosion. The San Diego River cut a channel through Mission Gorge, resulting in rock slides and exposed rock. The accumulation of rubble from the rock slides resulted in the gentle slopes, now covered with vegetation beneath South Fortuna's bare rock face. To the left, west, is the site of a former quarry. For over 100 years, this region has been mined for granite rock, volcanic rock, gravel, and river sand, which are used as construction materials. Mission Trails has been through many geologic changes, weathering, erosion, and other natural forces are still at work, continually transforming the shape of the landscape. Laurel sumac. Leaves were used to make a tea that aided Kumaya women during childbirth. Quail and wood rats often used sumac as a nest. Both animals were food for the Kumoye. Farmers still use this plant as a frost indicator when planting crops like citrus and avocado. We got some rock climbers up here. Pretty impressive.